stop allowing the needle on the scale to designate your success or failure. Enough. I do health coaching with a lot of folks around the world and the number of times I personally and the number of times that people have shared with me that they got on the scale and they felt deflated, defeated, discouraged because they gained weight and the sense is, is I've failed. And that's just not true. But the opposite, too, is if the number goes down, therefore I'm a success. Bullshit. It's not a success. It's not a failure. It is a measure of your weight and your relationship to the gravitational pull of the earth. Stop it. It's not. We need to stop allowing the needle on the scale to define us as successful or failure. If you are choosing on a regular, consistent basis those things that can support your well being, body, mind, spirit, that is the measure of success. And I don't even like the, the word failure when it comes to the choices I'm making. There are days when I'm choosing things that do not align with my health. Thank you very much. <laughs> and that does not mean I'm a failure. This means that I'm having a hard time emotionally and I'm falling back into some old habits of comforting myself. That's what that means. That is not success. That is not failure. That is an old habit. And I'm developing new habits where I'm doing some tapping when I'm emotionally stressed. I'm getting outside at springtime here. It's so beautiful. I'm going for walks. That's a measure of my success. And it's really just the accumulation of choices over time consistently that are aligning with health or aligning with things that are against my health. Ultimately, Losing weight is a long-term journey. I know that there's a lot of quick fixes out there and the studies show again and again and again that you can do that, but the moment you stop, up your weight goes. Quick fixes are not the way. Learning to accept yourself as you are, that's part of the journey. Letting go of those self-soothing habits that don't support health that's the journey. <laughs> Learning to be more emotionally intelligent and have better skills and tools for, for processing feelings. That's the journey. Addressing internal inflammation and leptin resistance and insulin resistance. Reducing chronic stress. That's the journey. You're not a success. You're not a failure based on where that fucking needle lands on that goddamn scale. I love you. If you need support, reach out. I am here for it. Take care and be kind.